Welcome to this tutorial on using Excel to calculate combinations and permutations. If you're not familiar with the terminology or rules of probability, you might want to review the basic concepts or watch my tutorial, Introduction to Probability. The links are in the description box below this video. The difference between using a combination versus a permutation is if order is important or not. If the order of something happening doesn't matter, then we use the combination formula. If the order is important, then we use the permutation formula. Let's do some examples and the difference between combination and permutation will become much clearer. Let's say, for example, we have five pieces of paper in a hat labeled A through E. Now, if I put my hand in the hat and pull out two of the pieces of paper, how many different possible outcomes are there? In this case, order does not matter, so we need the combination formula. The formula to calculate this by hand is shown here. You have a C, which means combination, and then you have big N and little n. Big N refers to the population size, little n refers to the sample size. So for our example, big N would be 5 because there are 5 pieces of paper, and little n would be 2 because we're taking a sample of 2 out of 5. Continuing with the formula, we have n factorial in the numerator, and then in the denominator we have little n factorial. So big N is 5 and little n would be 2, and then we have big N minus little n factorial. So that would be 5 minus 2, which is 3. Now, what is factorial? You probably have a button on your calculator with factorial. It looks like an exclamation mark. And so the definition of n factorial is really each number times the number before it, times two numbers before it, times three numbers before it, all the way out till 1. So 5 factorial, for example, would be 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. 100 factorial would be 100 times 99 times 98 times 97 until you get down to 1. Now you might ask, what is 0 factorial? And the answer is, by definition, 0 factorial is 1. So now let's go back to my hat with the 5 pieces of paper. If I have 5 pieces of paper, big N is 5 and I want to take out or sample two pieces of paper, then little n is 2. All right, going back to our formula, we have 5 factorial, that's big N factorial, divided by 2 factorial times big N minus little n, 5 minus 2 factorial. And that is 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 is 5 factorial. 2 factorial, 2 times 1. 5 minus 2 is 3, so that's 3 times 2 times 1, 3 factorial. And so now doing the calculations, we get 120 divided by 12, or 10. So there are 10 possible outcomes of taking 2 out of 5. Now to do this using Excel, the formula is equal, combin, that's C-O-M-B-I-N, and then you put the number, and you can see there it says number, comma, number chosen. So the number, comma, the number chosen is really the same thing as big N and little n. So big N would be 5, and little n, and little n would be 2. And let's close the parentheses and see what happens. And you can see we have 10. Now let's take a look at permutations. With a permutation, the order does matter. So if the first paper chosen is A and the second is B, that's one possible outcome. But then if the first paper is B and the second is A, that's not the same thing. So there are many more possible outcomes when we use permutations rather than combinations, since the order of the outcome is important. The formula for a permutation is, instead of a C, we have a P. We still have big N and little n. So we have big N factorial, and that is the population size, and that's divided by big N minus little n. Little n is the sample size factorial. So let's say we have five pieces of paper, and we're taking out two, but the order matters. It matters which is the first paper and which is the second paper. 
So now in order to calculate the permutation, we have 5 factorial over 3 factorial. We have 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 divided by 3 times 2 times 1. That is 120 divided by 6, and that is 20. So we see using the permutation formula, there are 20 possible outcomes for choosing two pieces of paper out of five. Now let's see how we would do this in Excel. The formula in Excel is the same as for the combination formula, but instead of using C-O-M-B-I-N, combin, we use permut, P-E-R-M-U-T, as follows. So we type in equal, P-E-R-M-U-T, open parentheses, and then you can see it's again number, comma, number chosen. So again, it's 5 is big N, comma, 2 is little n, and then we close the parentheses, and when I hit return, you can see the answer is 20. That's all there is to it. That is how you use the combination and permutation functions in Excel. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I hope you learned something.